now we come to, uh, we already talked about the physical burial of his body. Now how about the physical resurrection of Jesus? Look at Mark 16. Mark 16. Last time I went over this, somebody left the church. But, uh, I don't think that's going to happen It's all biblical. You know? Matthew 16 and verse 9. Mark? Oh, it's Mark. Mark 16. I'm sorry. Mark 16 in verse 9. This is the whole Resurrection Sunday story. So, you remember it says, Now when Jesus was risen early, the first day of the week, he appeared on first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils, and went and told them and they had been with them. Uh, there's another verse here with this. Look at John 20. John chapter 20, 16 and 17. Okay. And this is the dialogue that he has with Mary. He says something really weird to her. And it's like, I don't get it. This will help you get it. Uh, John 20, verse 16 and 17. Jesus saith unto her, Mary. She turned herself and saith unto him, Rabboni, which is the same master. Jesus said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brethren, and say unto them, I ascend unto my Father, and your Father, and to my God, and your God. Okay. Explosion. Right? He already did this. He's up. So, which is soul and spirit. He's up. Body, three days, three nights. You count from Good Friday to Sunday. Good Friday is a lie. It's not three days and three nights. Amen. Okay. It's simple math. Simple math. Um, and then he raises up. We already looked at these verses. Okay, so now what, what does he have? He has a soul and body right here. He said, I've not yet ascended. Look, Matthew 20, 16 and 17. Uh, 2016 and 17. It pretty much he says, I've not yet ascended unto my Father. So at some time between here and here, he had to go back up. So that's our proof text. I've not yet ascended to my Father. Why? Because what happens? Look at Matthew 28 and verse 9. It's a difference. Matthew 28 and verse 9. Matthew 28 and verse 9, he lets him touch him. Something happened. He's like a ping pong ball. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? Matthew 28 and verse 9, And as they went to tell his disciples, Behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail. And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. See that? Um, so they're touching him now. So Jesus Christ... He's still on the earth for 40 days. I should have wrote that. Let me get a pen. So from here uh, to here, there's 40 days. Just to add a little more, this is some stuff here, but hopefully it's a blessing to you. So, so Matthew 28. In verse 9 through 20, we talked about um, they saw him, worshipped him. In verse 17, some doubted. Jesus came and spake, All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Um, go ye therefore, teach, in, uh, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. You've heard it. Teaching them to observe. So he's given them the commandments within these 40 days. So after he's like, bam, 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 bam. He's like, bam, now you can touch me. Go ahead, worship me, touch my feet. I'll give you some orders. And uh, look at Acts 1-3. Acts 1-3. Acts 1-3. Just to let you know that we're not just taking one verse and running with it. We get the 40 days from the Bible. In Acts 1 3, it says, To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them.
40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. See that? So, Forty days. And now let's go to Acts 1 9. You're already in Acts. Acts 1 9. When he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. So this is the uh, Jesus' final ascension, where he is actually three parts body, soul, spirit, body, soul, spirit. The final ascension. So there's the explosion. Finally, all three come down. Body, soul, spirit, once again, all three go back up. Where you ever sit at the right hand of the throne of God, ever make an intercession for me and you, there he is. And when he comes back, he'll be all three parts. And But, uh, yeah, hopefully it's kind of an eye-opener to you. Um, any questions on this? <laughs> yeah, I only one. I had a pastor wrote a book on when did Jesus die. And they said it was Wednesday. That supposedly that's why we had churches and service on Wednesday. Um, oh, okay. Um, yeah. Now keep in mind the Hebrew day starts in the evening time, so it's six to six. So six p.m. today, for instance, um, their Hebrew day would end at six p.m. or I think I just got that mixed up. Yeah, tomorrow starts at 6 p.m. today. So that's a whole other kind of issue there. And, but yeah, so when you're trying to look at it like American days, it's, it's different. But one thing is factual is Friday had nothing to do with it, no matter what system you're going to use. So I'm um, talking about Good Friday. So by all this, we know Jesus had three parts. He was body, soul, and spirit. And this is what he had to go through to get a sinner like you. Why would he do all that? This is a big headache. I mean, think if you were him. <laughs> I, mean, try, I mean, I know all things are possible with God, and that's how he does it. But um, This is pretty impressive. Amen. And this place here is still there today. Hell. It says that hell has larger borders, and hell is getting bigger because more and more people are rejecting the man that died, was buried, and rose again on the cross. Hell is real. Paradise is empty. Some people, that's all a different story. Paradise is empty. It's, everyone's in heaven right now. There's only one way to heaven, and it's by the first one that ever went there, Jesus Christ. He is the door. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. Anyone coming any other way is a thief and a robber. It's, it's not sacraments. It's not a baptism for the dead, Mormon church. It, it's not through your works. It's not anything else you think it may be. It's only Jesus Christ, death, burial, and resurrection. So let's go ahead and go to a word of prayer. God, we thank you for this morning. And I know uh, this was like a shotgun blast at the end of the message, but I thought it fit well. So I just pray that you would just um, spur our hearts on, Lord, to really search these things out, search the scriptures daily to see whether these things are so, like, like uh, the Thessalonians and the, those in Thessalonica. Or, I'm sorry, the, the Bereans. And... Uh, God, we, we just pray that you would help us now as we're getting prepared to uh, you know, go hang out some tracks in a bit. Just pray, Lord, that you protect us all. Thank you for your word. It's amazing. We just spend a little bit of time looking at your Bible. It just seems like new things, you know, when we've been reading the same pages. But, God, we will show ourselves to uh, prove to God, study the word of God. It's just amazing what, what you're going to show us if we take the time. So I just pray that you bless these that came. And pray they learned something today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.